Hello, procrastinators. Are you wondering, hey, if I turn in my college application right up against the deadline, does that lower my chance of admissions? If I turn it in two days early, does that raise my chance of admissions? Would I have had twice the chance of getting into Yale if only I'd applied two weeks earlier? If you're wondering those things, I'm going to talk about that today. My name is Brooke. I've been an independent college consultant for over a decade and a half, almost 20 years. I've helped students, coaching them into colleges like Stanford, Harvard, Princeton, Yale, MIT, on down the line. If you're prepping for the SAT or the ACT, be sure to check out supertutortv.com. We've got an online video-based prep course there. I've helped coach students to perfect scores on both of those exams, and I wrap all of my knowledge into these video courses so you can get the same information at home. We also have plenty of videos right here on our YouTube, so make sure you click subscribe below this video and check out our TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts to stay in the loop with us. And we have a totally free mailing list, supertutortv.com slash subscribe, where we'll keep you in the know of what our latest videos are. And finally, if you want to read this instead of watch it, head to our blog. The link is in the description below. Cool. So procrastination, does it hurt your chances? Well, we all know that obviously doing things early is always a good idea and college applications are no exception. What if your computer malfunctions? What if your Wi-Fi network randomly goes down in the two hours right before your college application essay is due? There's all kinds of nightmare situations that could happen. So generally, yes, I do recommend that students turn in their essays and applications at least one day in advance so that they know that it's in and they don't have to worry about last minute terrible things happening. Now, if a school or a platform completely goes down, if the common application has an outage, they will usually extend the deadline for you. But if the technical difficulty is on your end, you're going to have a much more difficult time getting your application in if you miss that hard, fast deadline. So that's the first number one reason why you should always try to do things 24 hours in advance is you never know when a power outage could strike, when your internet provider could decide to stop providing you with internet, when your router could get eaten by your cat. But beyond that, oh no, what if something terrible just happens to happen technology-wise? Is there a reason why you need to get your application in early? One other advantage to turning your application in early is that you can review your application and make sure everything got uploaded. If you turn it in early enough, like several weeks in advance, colleges and universities may even come back to you and tell you if something is missing, which is also a great advantage as well because you've got more time. There's one other condition in which it's really a good idea to turn things in early, and that's my kind of second piece of this video is that if schools have rolling admission, if they have early decision or early action deadlines, or if they have what's called priority admission, turning your application in early might help you. Now that doesn't mean you're penalized if you've procrastinated on a regular decision application in any way, but it does mean that you could create some kind of advantage for yourself if you apply by an earlier deadline, right? Now earlier deadlines, what are those? What do those look like? Well, one is rolling admissions, which is kind of no deadline, but I generally say November 1st is a good target if you're applying with rolling admissions or as soon as possible. If you don't know what rolling admissions are, they're basically a system whereby a university lets students in as they apply. So if you apply to Arizona State University, Arizona State's gonna look at your application and two to three weeks later, they'll send you their decision. And usually this is a type of admission plan that very large schools like Penn State or ASU, Arizona State, really large colleges that have a huge student body they've gotta fill they're going to be offering rolling admissions because it's a way that they can clear the decks, let people in early, and also attract lots of strong candidates because what a great backup school that is if you can find out right away that you got in, then maybe you don't need to apply to as many colleges right down the line. And you can throw a few reaches out there and see what comes back, but otherwise, hey, I'm gonna go to ASU and everything's cool, right? So with rolling admissions, as the admission cycle goes on, their class fills up and they have less and less space. And then they can become more and more selective with who they're going to let in. So if you want the best chance of admission at a rolling admission college, it is a good idea to get your application in early, particularly, like I said, before November 1st, if possible. Likewise, if there are priority deadlines, you might miss out on housing preference, on scholarship opportunities and honors program opportunities if you miss those priority deadlines. And finally, if, you, if a school has an early decision or an REA deadline or uh, that's restrictive early action or an early action EA deadline, could that help you? In some cases, yes. 
It depends on the college or university. Stanford and Brown, for example, have stated in their literature that students don't really have that much of an advantage if they apply early to their colleges or universities. It might be a slight advantage at Brown, I would say, because it's early decision as opposed to early action or restrictive early action. But other schools may say that it does confer an advantage. You know, I've seen probably with my own eyes, if you apply early to Dartmouth, you probably have a little bit of a leg up. So finally, if you've procrastinated, if you're turning this in the day it's due, the day before it's due, does that mean you're uh, lower on the priority poll than somebody who turned it in a week ago? Generally, no. Admissions officers have so many applications to review. I guarantee the number one thing on their mind is not what is the timestamp on when this application came in. Above all, they want to see great essays. They want to see your grades. They want to know that you're contributing to your community, that you're a leader, that you're making a difference in your world, that you have a vision for tomorrow, all these kind of things. That's what they're paying attention to. They're not looking at, oh, 11.58 p.m., denied, right? That's not what they're obsessed about. They want the best candidates they can get and they set up the boundary. And if you submit by the boundary, you're usually in pretty good shape. So please procrastinators do not fret if you turn in your applications right up before the deadline. However, for logical reasons, that doesn't mean that it isn't a good idea to try to put a 24 hour cushion between you and your deadline just to make sure that everything flies swimmingly and you are able to get it in on time. Now, one final addendum to this whole video, I know a frequently asked question I also get that's related that's not exactly the same question, is what if my teacher recommendations are a day late? What if my test scores didn't get in in time? If there's something that's kind of out of your control that ends up get some, getting submitted late with your application, oftentimes schools are willing to work with you. They understand that your teacher recommendation is not 100% under your control. If you see that that's not in by the deadline, you can gently remind your teacher and you can also reach out to the college or university or say that you're aware of the issue and you followed up or whatever it is. But it doesn't mean that there's no way that you can get into that college or university. If you do have something coming in late, that doesn't mean you want to plan to have it come in late. It does mean that you want to make sure you have a good runway before you ask your teachers to get in their recommendations. And if you happen to have technical difficulties or something happens during the admission process, I recommend that you do reach out to schools and explain what happened. I can't guarantee that it will always be okay. But I can say that many colleges and universities have lots of human beings that work in them and they are reasonable people and they want the best candidates they can get. So if you have some kind of extenuating weird circumstance that happened, you know, call the college or university and try to figure it out. And there's a hope and there's a chance. And it doesn't mean you're guaranteed that you can get in. But, you know, if you have a good excuse, use it and try it and see what happens. You can always ask and see what happens Worst case scenario. And if it's something like a teacher rec, most of the time it's going to be okay. But go ahead and be proactive. Reach out to the school. Communicate. Do the best that you can to stay on top of things. And that's the way to kind of keep everything moving smoothly. Cool? So take heart procrastinators. If you have procrastinated, this doesn't immensely lower your chances of getting in. But I will say get it in on time and do the best you can to give yourself a little cushion in case of an emergency. Cool? Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Procrastinate some more with our channel right here, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.